Hello, Collective. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It's returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled, are dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so we have the page of cups out here. You can expect to be receiving some type of good news from, well, you're... You have good news coming in. It's not coming from a queen of wands. You are the queen of wands. So this is coming to you. Okay. This could be something you are expecting or you're not even in awareness about it. I'm not sure yet what this has to do but do with, but it looks like you've been standing your ground in something. Whatever this is, maybe you're going through some type of turmoil with family, friends. Oh, you're showing up in your empress energy as well. This has to do with your abundance, okay? Something may be being returned to you or someone could be gifting you something. Someone could be making you some type of offer of work. They want to work with you. And this is going to lead to a, a, a lot of abundance. This could take you from one, you know, from one energy to the next. But if you're showing up here as the Empress energy, that means that you are someone that embodies all of the queens in deck. You may just be, look, in the... Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom. You're absolutely a genuine and real empress. Um, so if you're showing up in the Queen of Wands energy as well, that means that you are standing your ground. You've been fighting something, fighting for something, standing for something, maybe your rights. But just know that someone will be sending you some type of message. So keep your eye on your mail, your emails, text messages, whatever it is. Um, absolutely. Oh, look at this. We have the five of pentacles in the reverse. So if someone was trying to cause you some type of ending, it's not happening. You're going to be having a brand new passionate beginning, a fresh start. Okay. Um, there could be something about you and your mother, you and a white figure, you and a baby mama, something like that. What I'm also getting is that this may be from... This may be this may be like a, a mother and daughter kind of thing going on. That you two may be having some type of fresh start in your relationship, something of that nature. So maybe you and your mother are not doing too well when it comes to your relationship um, or your interaction with one another. Um, so this could be something that's about to be healed. You two are about to reconcile or something like that. I tell you, this is something that's coming, so you all shouldn't feel bad. The parent-child relationship can be something that's very complicated, absolutely complicated. Um, and I just said of that, like with my kids, so I have three kids. Um, and something I've been working on since I had my first one, and it's been extremely hard, is trying my best not to pass on generational curses to them. Um, trying not to pass things on to them that are going to hinder them in the future. Um, because I've noticed there are certain things, certain qualities. As amazing as I am, there are qualities that I have that I absolutely do not want my ch children having. Um, so I always encourage them to always voice their, their mind, you know, say what they have to say. Because when I was growing up, um, it's not just my mom, but in African cultures, the child does not really have a voice. You always have to just kind of listen to what the elders are saying, your parents, your grandparents, your older uh, siblings, your aunties, uncles. And if you're some, someone that's aware of African culture, you know everybody in the community is either an auntie or an uncle, a big sister or a big brother. So you have a whole lot of people you have to listen to and pay respect to. So while that is a beautiful thing, it can be something also that tunes down your voice and you end up losing your voice to these people 
Um, so something there's something about the African culture as well that we don't tend to really pay attention to is that it can really be limiting uh, when it comes to us expressing ourselves and having a voice. Um, but also I've noticed that Africans, we are very like, <laughs> very stern. So there could be something, there's something beautiful about you. But you and your, your mother or you and a parental figure you may be having some type of reconciliation. Um, this is like you two just healing things. So you can expect to be receiving some type of message. You could be going, you could uh, be having some type of reconciliation with a sibling as well, with the daughter and mother out here, the queen of wands and the empress out here. I'm also getting like some type of family reconciliation is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, so someone may be happy to either hear from you or you may be really happy to hear from someone, and this is going to lead to some type of recovery between all of you. Um, so anyways, good luck with all of that. For some of you, something could be being looked into that has to do with a mother and daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you may be having a fresh start somewhere else. Uh, it may lead to someone feeling disappointed, like feeling lost. Like someone is, by you having this fresh start in life, right? Someone else is going to feel like they're missing out. They're losing something. They may have taken some type of action against you. Um, maybe someone, someone was trying to limit you so that they would be the only option to you. And by you having this fresh start, which is like divine intervention by the most high, someone is going to be disappointed. Someone may be holding a whole lot of emotions in and things of that nature. Someone has a hard time with the fact that they're showing up as the king of swords. Um, excuse me. The fact that they're showing up as the king of swords, right, um, means that they are having a hard time or they technically have a hard time expressing themselves. And which is kind of ironic, the fact that I'm talking about, you know, voicing your opinions and things like that. Someone does not really say what it is they have to say. Someone tends to hold everything in and it never comes out well. It always leads to some type of emotional or financial loss. So this is why I'm saying it's imperative that we voice the things that we have to say. We don't have to be like disrespectful about it. We can be diplomatic and tactful, but still say what we have to say. And I've mentioned this on my channel, I think like a few videos ago, where when I'm having like arguments with people, misunderstanding with people, I'll either say ma'am or sir to them, no matter how old they are, just so that they remember, I know that they're a person. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to them. And I've realized it also throws people up. They're like, this person is telling me off, but they're still being respectful. What the heck is that? I've noticed that because sometimes I'll see people, they'll look at me like, what the heck? You're still calling me ma'am and sir, but you're like, you're like being uh, lethal with what you're saying. I'm not being lethal, but you have to be direct with people, right? Um, so people aren't used to that. That's why I'm saying it's very essential that you voice your opinion so you're not walking around like this, okay? There's a king of swords as well that may be losing quite a lot of finances, uh, maybe losing a job position, something of that nature. Um, yeah, there's some type of quarreling going on, some type of thievery, whatever this is. Someone is losing their stability, their income. They're going through some type of emotional loss. I don't know if they were trying to set you up to have a loss, but I don't think so. I think it's more so that you and oh that's what it is you are you and someone may be having some type of fresh start together but that's going to lead to them losing a lot of finances having to let go of a position that's what it is now you have your own problems going on in your life you're going through some type of reconciliation in the background he's going through some type of loss right he's losing finances losing a job this could be like a really high paying job with the fact that it's an eight of pentacles that means that this is someone very skilled at what they do they've they've committed a lot and invested a lot into this when you got when you get to the eight of pentacles status that means that you are like a master of your craft you're very much skilled you're committed so this is possibly someone that saw this position as something that they will be doing for a long time a long time they're like probably never changing jobs because it's possibly well paying um you know it's hard when you you know find a it's hard to find a job where 
not only do you like it, but it pays well. There's no toxicity and things like that. It's hard to find those kind of jobs. Um, so someone may be realizing that even though the job is well paying and he or she may be good at it, they may not be feeling fulfilled in that position anymore because something is possibly being illuminated to them. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get clarity. And something that's also I'm seeing is that this person could be letting go of this position or maybe they're being let go, which is like maybe divine intervention. And they're going to end up building their own maybe Ten of Pentacles, maybe their own Empire Ten of Cups. And I'm having the Empire where where, where you have the, the, um, the successful business, the happy family, all of that. That's what someone wants. So this is possibly why they are letting go. Okay, so but someone is being let, let either let go or they're letting go of a position. And you as the fem yeah, you as the feminine energy, you're putting an end to some type of chapter. And this will be a chapter where people they didn't want you ending. The fact that I'm seeing this five of pentacles in the reverse here lets me know that maybe in the past people they didn't want you out of this energy they wanted you to stay in poverty in like in stagnation no one supporting you you've been left out in the cold no like literally no one not an institution not a not a person able to help you and you know it's really sad when people will go to that extent to block other people's future other people's destiny right they, they try to block your destiny. You can't really block destiny um, because there's a reason why it's called destiny. It's something that is assigned. I'm telling you, you're ending a chapter. It is something that is assigned to you by the most high. So it absolutely has to come into fruition. Um, but sometimes when people are really, you know, I was going to say broken, <laughs> and then the heart came out. When people are really like damaged and unhealed and things like that, they will develop some type of delusional mindset where they believe that they have control over other people's destiny and they'll take like malicious actions to block your forward movement, not realizing they're really blocking themselves. It's like someone trying to block your blessing, but not realizing that they're blocking their blessings because you never know what's going to happen in the future, right? You can try to destroy someone today and the very person you're trying to destroy today, it turns out to be the person you need in the future. Let's say like you have a sick child or something. If a, uh, I'm, just, I'm not I'm speaking this into existence on anyone, but let's say your child is sick, right? Let's go back. Let's say you are determined to destroy someone. Like you're going all out on them. You're blocking their finances, getting them fired from work. Uh, interfering with their relationships, you may even get them, uh, get their spouse to leave them, their domestic partner to leave them, all kinds of stuff, trying to manifest illness and things in their lives, right? Just, just like in an impoverished state, you want this person in an impoverished state. However, you know, while you may have some type of success in causing some type of mayhem in this person's life, they still recover and move on, become this really influential person, affluent person, very successful, right? Let's say they go and become a doctor and they come up with some type of cure, right, for something. And your child end up, ends up having that disease. Now you have to go to their doctor to ask them for help, to ask them to heal your child. Imagine the embarrassment because obviously you're going to have to put your pride aside to ask for your child's health to be taken care of. But imagine the embarrassment, right? The embarrassment when you go to ask that doctor for help to heal your child. Now, the good thing about doctors, they do have an oath that your patients always come first, right? Uh, they are there for the well-being of their patients. So regardless of how crazy the patient may be or what the patient is saying to them, how the patient is treating them, doctors are trained to always see things from a higher perspective because they're there to help right take care of you doctors nurses and i've seen this in nursing homes where like uh residents are being really rude to nurses and the genuine nurses they will still find some type of way to maneuver their way around their rudeness um that obnoxiousness that's coming from the patient to provide them care so think of stuff like that you always have to think about the future yeah you always have to think about the future what is going to happen in the future you're, you're destroying yourself because you're going to need someone 
and we know like this is in our first rodeo in when it comes to living incarnating life is always going to balance itself out the universe is big on balance bringing balance into different situations so while you may be happy today that you destroy someone's future or their life or something think about the future okay think about what's going to happen in the future am i going to need this person am i going to lose my finances am i going to do it is this going to happen you always have to think about those kind of things okay and some of us when they see us that we don't respond the way they do they're like well something is wrong with you i'm not letting anyone talk to me any kind of way i'm not letting anyone trick me it's not that you're tricking energies like myself it's just like we have we already understand we have a higher understanding of the situation uh kind of like for myself right i can see you and know what you're doing like i will know you're doing this to cause me stagnation let's say for example i know you're doing this to interfere with some type of maybe friendship relationship or whatever i don't know what you're doing but i'm not going to say anything because i know of uh, that there's going to be balance burned into that situation. So me taking time to address you and tell you, hey, why are you interfering with my connections or my relationship or my finances? It's possibly not going to happen um, because I already know what's coming for you. Because the universe is big on balance, like I said, you're going to, yeah, I'm not giving you a reaction. People people will, people will like go out of their way to get reactions out of you. So if you're someone that's very calm, you don't you don't overreact or something like that. They will try. They will try, 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 try to get a reaction out of you. It's like, well, I did that. They didn't respond. I bet you they're gonna respond to this, and then they'll do something really petty, and you're looking at them like, really, this is how how old are you? Like, when when are you going to get on the train of maturity and grow up, right? So whatever you do in life, always remember that there are consequences. There's always the future. I'm telling you, there's always the future. Yeah, so this person, regardless of what they are losing, right, they're still going to be going through some type of growth, some type of uh, promotion in life. It doesn't have to be with a company. It can be with them, you know, making some type of investment, not in working for someone else, but working for themselves. So they've made some type of investment, or maybe this is what they're doing. Someone could be purchasing property, purchasing land, may have invested in something like that, and it's going to be fruitful for them. I'm telling you, it's going to be fruitful for them. So whatever it is that you you are doing, if you're investing in a person, place, or thing, it's going to be abundant for you. The Nine of Pentacles has to do with abundance, right? Land, being financially stable and solid in life, right? Uh, depending on the situations too, in very rare situations, it can have to do with someone managing, uh, like budgeting and things like that, like holding things together until they their harvest comes in. Uh, in some situations, but typically the nine of pentacles has to do with you living a comfortable life. You don't really have much to worry about. As you can see, this person went from an eight of pentacles in the reverse to a seven of pentacles to a nine of pentacles. So someone is elevating in life and it's going to be by the merit of their own hands, like investing into something that really matters to them. Whereas you, the feminine energy, you may be receiving good news about maybe your abundance, someone giving you something, someone leaving you in a will and you're receiving an inherit, uh, inheritance, something being returned to you, okay? So there's balance being brought into, a yeah, a lot of situations and this is going to enable you to manifest some type of new reality. So whatever you're receiving, let's say you are living in poverty if this was in the upright, right? You're receiving this. It's going to help you focus on what it is that you are trying to grow, whatever business it is that you are trying to grow, okay? So someone may be wanting to invest in you or just give something to you, work with you. There's something like that going on. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, abundance. Absolutely. Absolutely. Someone may want to invest, like literally 
in a collaboration, a union, a marriage, someone may want to propose to you. So it's something like that. Like someone wants to be in a relationship with you. Okay. So I guess we're seeing the story from prof both perspective, the masculine's perspective and the feminine energy's perspective. You two coming together, the, what's going on in each of you's story is kind of what's being told. The feminine energy has some reconciliations that's going on. Um, why I ask the masculine is leaving something behind and investing in himself in order to be fruitful in life. So this person, even though they may be letting go of a position or leaving a job or being let go of something, they're not bad off. They're not doing bad off. They're in a seven of pentacles, right? And it's leading to this for them. Is that they're going to make some type of small investment into you and it's going to turn into something really abundant. It could be like a, a couple here going through some type of ending as well. Um, so maybe they stole something from someone and it's being taken from them and returned to you. There is something where I got a message about like a check. Yeah, there's a couple going through an ending. Absolutely. There's a couple going through an ending. There's something where I got a message about a check. Like there's a stolen check. I don't know if someone left you a check and someone someone stole that check or a group of people got together and stole that check. Um, so they may be going through some type of ending. They're trying to block your new beginning, but they cannot. It's something that is insured for you. Like you're going to have a fresh start. Okay. This is here because people want to block this. This is what people want happening to you. But there's a couple that basically invested in their own ending. This is like trying to end someone, but you don't realize that you literally just destroyed yourself destroyed yourself you're going through some type of betrayal yeah like these people have trapped themselves they're stuck there's no way to turn they can't like like their, their finances are not doing too well not doing too well there's some type of betrayal here maybe two people were also supposed to get together um and people interfere with that it's like every move you make to have a new beginning, someone is interfering or people are interfering with it behind the scenes. But little do they know that you're blocking themselves. They're blocking themselves. There could be a king of swords in here as well that's going through some type of financial like. Yeah. He's going through some type of financial like. Like, whatever he's going through is not looking good. I feel like there are two King of Swords in here. One is elevating and the other one is experiencing some type of ending. They may be feeling trapped. This car just flew out. Yeah. Oh, they may be feeling trapped. Like someone took some type of action. I don't know if they tried to cause someone else or ending in work or something like that. But they're not getting the results that they wanted. They are not getting the results that they wanted. Like someone maybe they didn't expect you to stand your ground. Huh. Yeah. They're, they didn't get the results that they wanted. This could be like someone calling your boss or something and telling them to fire you and your boss tells them no. They said no, we're not letting them go. Something like that. Or maybe even someone not wanting to work with a toxic energy anymore. Because something is being exposed about the person acting from behind the scenes. Like someone is doing something, but they're hiding. They're hiding. They don't want people to know what they're doing. They don't want people to know what they're doing. But whatever they were trying to do is not going in, in their favor. Yeah, it's not going in their favor. It's going in your favor. Hmm. Yeah. But even like if someone was to let you go, it seems that like you're still going to be okay. Like you're still going to be okay. This is like people take, this is like a plan. 
Like people literally getting together to make some type of plan to cause you, like they want you out of this energy, but it's like no matter what they do, you're not getting out of this energy. Like you keep getting better and better. You're, you're still embracing your inner child. You're still happy. You're still nurturing yourself. You're still caring for yourself, taking care of yourself. And this is what people don't want. They're not happy that you, they can't keep you trapped, right? They're not happy that you are still in your energy. You're still balanced. And that goes back to what I was saying. Someone may be trying to get you like to react to something. So they're doing a whole lot behind the scenes, maybe even fooling with your business. Because the Eight of Pentacles can have to do with business. Like someone is trying to end your stability. But whatever they do, you're still going to be A-okay. You're going to be making connections that will lead to some type of abundance for you. Like you'll be supported wherever you're going. Some of you may be returning home. Yeah, some of you may be returning home. I'm telling you. You're going to be returning somewhere or receiving something like a new opportunity is going to be available to you. So if whatever they're planning leads to an ending for you in a position, you're going to be a-okay. And even if they're trying to temper with your business, you'll have a better one. I know that's kind of harsh to say, but sometimes the most high will let things like this happen. So just for the experience of it, so that in the future, if someone tries to do it again, you'll know exactly how to maneuver your way through that situation. But whatever these people are planning, I wouldn't worry too much because the Most High is taking care of it. Like you are secure. Like someone does not want an Empress energy having some type of new start, fresh start, having new opportunities. Like they want to destroy every possibilities of that. And this is a group effort. This is not just one person. This is a group effort, but there is a narcissist in here that is like absolutely, like this person despises you. So they're like the leader of the pack, but they act from behind the scenes because this is a coward. This is a coward. And everything they're doing to you is exactly what they're going to be experiencing. Exactly what they will be experiencing. And that's how life goes. is going through an ending like there's a someone there's something where someone wants to give you an offer but they're stuck in their mind about it someone is going back and forth and then there's someone in here that's going through some type of ending because of some type of action they took against you like someone was not practical about a decision that they made and they may be losing a lot of finances to that it's a lot of characters in here. And it's like balance is being brought into the situation for each person in here, whether good or bad, there's karma going on. People are experiencing endings, endings. People are experiencing new beginnings. But someone in here, either they may have legal troubles coming in as well. They may have legal issues coming in. They did something they were not supposed to do, something illegal. Yeah, they did something they weren't supposed to do. And this is something they planned. This is something they planned. And if this is something they're still planning for some of you to cause you some type of ending, it says someone wants to come and give you some type of offer that's not exactly solid because they want, want to keep you trapped with them. It's not going to go in their favor. It's like it's going to, yeah, it's not going to go in their favor. They want to trap you with them. This is like someone knowing that you have some type of issue going on. 
And you know, people like this, if they don't want to genuinely help you, they'll set something up in a way where it looks promising only for them to trap you with them so you can never leave. And by carrying out that kind of malicious plan, they end up trapping themselves. Because if you're not going to do something out of the genuineness of your heart or the kindness of your heart, don't do it at all. That's a curse you're giving to someone. Someone has legal issues coming in and someone is living in fear. They may be trying to hide, protect themselves, whatever this is, but where are you gonna hide? Someone has legal issues coming in, legal. Like they're trying to trap you in something, but they're not paying attention to what it is that's going on. Mm. Like there's so many characters I'm seeing and so many stories being told. I'm trying to find one to stick to. There's a lot of people involved in something that they should not have been involved in. Is that someone believes that you being trapped is wish fulfillment for them. It's like them being happy. Like, yes, I finally accomplished this. They're trapped with me now, but they're not going to. They're not going to be able to trap you. They're not going to be. Like, someone feels like if they can get you, they can destroy you and have you trapped with them, they're good. They're set for life. This is like saying, yes, finally, gotcha, B. That's something someone is trying to do. So just be mindful with who you are receiving a help from. Oh, not a help. Who you are receiving assistance from because there's some type of ulterior motive. Okay. And then you have someone that sees you as wish fulfillment, but they're trapped in their mind a lot. This could be a king of pentacles that has some type of mental, like mental imbalance. This person goes back and forth in their mind quite a lot. And typically that's kind of unlikely of the king of pentacles. They're supposed to be very direct and solid, but this person has some type of mental thing that's going on where they're always like trapped in their mind, wondering if the decision that they're making is the right one. Should they do it? Should they not do it? It's something like that. It's like they want to, they want to assist you, like help you, yeah, help you put an end to a chapter so you can move forward and achieve your goals and things like that. But they're trapped in their mind. It's like, if I do this, is are they going to turn on me? Are they going to betray me? Something like that. So you could have quite a few, for you, the feminine energy, you could have quite a few masculines in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't get with this King of Pentacles. Someone is in their mind a lot. They may be setting something up just so in the future they can do this to you. So I wouldn't, don't entertain this stuff. Don't entertain it. I don't know. That's too much back and forth for me. And that's what I'm saying. This person is in their mind a lot. They want to trap you. They see you a wish fulfillment, betrayal. And then they have emotions for you. That's too much back and forth for me. That is too much back and forth for me. Too much, too much. I don't know if someone finds you to very to be very appealing, like easy on the eye. You may be a little bit feisty. Maybe that they like that a little bit. I don't know what it is, but this man here, no. It's a no, no, no. Maybe you have some type of contract with a king of cups. Whatever this is. Mm -mm, no. This king of pentacles is giving me the yeah. You have a yeah, you have a contract with a king of cups. You have a soul contract with the King of Cups, not the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is giving me wooshy-washy. That he's un un uncertain. And this could be someone greedy too. That he's financially focused, so his emotions kind of come last. They're last on the list. So what he does is try to find a way to secure himself in people's lives. Especially women. Is it 
if I spoil them, if I buy them this, then you know I have a position in their life. But that's not how it works. Some people don't care about what you buy them, what you can give them. It's more, more so like the emotional and the mental and the spiritual that matters to some people. But this person is wishy-washy for me. Wishy-washy. So you may have a soul contract with a king of cups. Yeah. Maybe this king of pentacles is trying to replace this person. There's a whole lot going on. And people are taking on different energies as well. Mm. Dang it. This could all be like the same person just showing up in different energies, which would be kind of terrifying. You would need to be mindful of this person if they're this type of king of pentacles. plan this person had for you is not coming into fruition like they're not having a brand new start with you whatever offer someone was trying to gaslight you with new opportunities nope like they were trying to come in and give you some type of offer it was not going to be solid and i think i mentioned that it was not going to be solid it was going to be something to kind of just keep you trapped with them you see this thing of pentacles here with the ace of cups in the reverse yeah that is not equal give and take kind of relationship i knew it I knew it. This is not an equal give and take relationship. This is someone that is financially focused. So you're not going to be having a brand new passionate beginning with this person in love. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And your ancestors have made some type of calling in here, some type of decision. It's not happening. Maybe all of these masculines you're not even meant to be with. Whoever you are, maybe you're not meant to be with any of them. Because none of them are really trying to do the work. A lot of them are showing up as financially. It's like they think if they give you finances or something like that, if they're financially solid in life, then you'll be okay with them. They're not going to put in the work to heal. It's something like that going on here. And your ancestors are stepping in to block anyone from coming towards you. Any type of action they were trying to take to come in and deceive you, you're being blocked. They're being blocked out of your energy. That you're heavily protected. There's a union. There's a connection that's being protected. But, honey, the rest of the hooligans... They're going through some type of ending. Some type of ending. This King of Pentacles again is giving me the wishy-washy energy. He's not sure of himself. He doesn't care about love. That's the last thing on his list. Is that he cares about love. He does not care about healing. I just being corrected to say. He doesn't care about healing. But that's your justice because you'll be partnering up with the right person. There's something where, like, if you take some type of action to move forward, people want to come in and cause you some type of ending. If they can't end you, they want to put you in some type of legal situation, and it's going to go in your favor. It's going to go in your favor. They said, we told you you can't move forward, and you're telling them, yeah, but I don't, you, you don't decide my, my path. I'm moving forward anyways. So they may take some type of action to come in and try to end you. And it's going to lead to problems for them. You're not going to jail. Someone else is going to jail. Some This is like someone coming in to end you. And they can't. And something happens where they're calling for help from the rest of the clan. And no one is answering. They may have to go to either jail, prison, or something like that. But the legal system is going to be involved. Or is involved already in some of your cases. This is crazy. Just because someone wants to move on. Just because you want better for yourself. Yeah, they said no. They're trying to end a new beginning for you. Any, any possibilities of you having a fresh start. And they want to bring you problems. Trap you in something. But balance. Justice. What is the justice card? Oh, right. 
integrity, equity, truth, legality, don't jump to conclusions, balance and harmony, good karma. I'm telling you, it's going to be balanced out. It's going to be balanced out. I think there's something where, uh -huh, excuse me. I think there's something where behind the scenes people think that they've covered all their ends. They forged the documents well enough to set you up for a crime or something that either has to do with a check or just something like that, right? So they're possibly tricking and paying law officials behind the scenes to make sure something go in their favor. But it's not going to go in their favor. It's going to go in your favor. It's going to go in your favor. And someone rejecting you was your blessing as well. Someone rejecting you was your blessing. I'm telling you, it's going in your favor. Dang. It's going in your favor. Mm. And this King of Pentacles, the first, I mean, King of Swords, the first one that I spoke about that was going through some type of loss in a job position or uh, finances or something. He, you can see the progress he's going through here. He went from a four of Pentacles being stuck, having some type of financial insecurities and things like that, not feeling secure in life, having to kind of hold on tight to the little bit of money he has. And then he goes to the Nine of Cups, having fulfillment. And then it goes to the Ten of Pentacles. That's that's what you call uh, elevation right there. Upgrade. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Man. Things are going in your favor. Things are going in your favor. There may be people that are not even happy about this person making some type of offer to you, which is what I mentioned earlier. There are people around him that are pissed off that this man is still giving you some type of offer or you are still receiving some type of offer, either from an institution or another character, another energy. People are upset about that. They feel like he's betraying them. They say, why would you give this to them? Who are they? You don't know them. You've known us longer. Why would you give them this? This offer or this assistance. And he's probably like, that is my money. I can do what I want with it. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, there could be like a dang. But you're putting an end to all of this. You're putting an end to, to everything. Everything they've been trying to do, you're putting an end to it. The universe is like, the universe has called judgment in a situation. The However you want to see it, your ancestors, your angels, the universe, judgment has been called in a situation and it's being dead. It's like this is over. There could be a king, queen of swords that's going through an ending. And then another one going through a rebirth. Is that while someone is going through their ending, you're going through your rebirth. So things are turning around for you and things are going into reversal for them. You, I think you're dumb, predominantly the queen of swords in this situation. Like you're literally standing your ground. You're making decisions. You may be willing to listen to people, but you already know what's up. And as soon as people come towards you with the BS, you're like, cut it out. What do you want? Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's a family going through an ending here. Whoever these people are from behind the scenes, they're going through some type of ending. They're going through some type of ending. It's a family that's fighting amongst themselves because you're receiving good news. Things are going in your favor. Things are going in your favor. Yeah, 
things are going in your favor. They're not happy that this union is still coming together. This collaboration is coming together. But it was always meant to be. These types of union are divinely meant to be. That's a, those are soul contracts. Whether it's in business or romance, those are soul contracts. So they'll always manifest. Yeah, I'm telling you, they'll always manifest. They will always manifest. I'm telling you. <laughs> they will always manifest. They're protected. Like ancestors on both sides are protecting these kind of unions. Because they're very essential to each lineage that's involved. Your lineage, his lineage is always... These unions are always protected. Okay? And so you two will be moving forward. And these people can fight all they want. I'm telling you, you two will be moving forward. You will have victory. And it's like both of you on your own journeys are standing your ground. No matter what's going on, you're standing your ground, protecting this new beginning, this fresh start. I don't know why people, I don't know why people think that they have the authority over God to change something that has been set in stone. How? You don't even understand how the universe works. You don't even know who you are. Not on a cosmic level, not on an individual level. So how are you even going to understand the rules that are behind these types of contracts? How? Honey, when you are delusional, this is when you think you can do these kind of things. When you are delusional. Like, whatever this is, romance, business, is protected. King of, King of Swords don't know what to do. He don't know what to do. Because he's tried everything. Whoever this one is, I mean, he don't know what to do. Yeah. Someone is letting go. Yeah, someone is letting go. They are letting go of toxicity, some type of, uh, it's not like a religion or something. Someone is letting go, like they decided to let go and they're taking charge of their life. With their devil to the uh, emperor, someone is letting go. They're no longer going to be participating in some type of, <sighs> what is it? belief system some type of way of living they're letting go of a relationship as well some type of toxic connection someone is taking charge of their life this emperor is taking charge of his life in order to move on like he's been stand, he'll stand his ground and then he'll relapse stand his ground relapse but he's made the final decision with him showing in the emperor energy he's made his final decision to move on I'm telling you to move on so he can have fulfillment in life. He's moving on so he can have fulfillment in life. What in the world? Yeah, he's moving on to have fulfillment in life because he has foresight now of his future, of everything. He knows thing, he knows what's going on, why he needs to change. The dangers of him staying in this lifestyle. So he's removing himself. He's removing himself. That may be why the family is fighting. Because he's choosing to let go. He doesn't want to be part of that. I don't know. It's a belief system. Whatever this is. This man is letting go. But the family is not happy. But he. This is like you know too much now. To go back into your shell. 
and it's not necessarily a shell he was in this is like you live in one way for a long time and then you are like exposed to something else and then you start seeing the flaws about what you were indulging in for the past i don't know maybe 10 20 30 40 years or something and you decide to let go so you can go have fulfillment somewhere else and it turns out that you're going to be successful there it's something like that and while he's going through this this family they'll always be waiting they're always going to be plotting but waiting for the right time to do him something or to cause some type of interference but i don't think this man cares at this point I don't think so. Yeah, they'll always be plotting, but he doesn't care. He's still going to be collaborating with you. This man still wants to meet with you, still wants to work with you. It's like he does not care anymore. This is a long overdue. This is like a, what I just heard is this is a long overdue union that's supposed to be together. Or it's supposed to be. And it's about to come into fruition. And you two may end up being like really influential together, especially with this Ten of Pentacles out here. You two are going to be really influential. Like someone may want to really invest into your work or just want to give you some type of offer so that your work can expand. And this may be what people were trying to block because they're either intimidated, something like that. They just don't want to see you doing well. They don't want the two of you together. And these people benefit from him being him being stuck in some way, shape or form. But I always like, yeah, he knows too much now. He's he's awakening. Like his <laughs> this man is awakening. They they want him to go back to sleep, but how can you go back to sleep? You can't. Dang. And someone never thought they would see the day that this would happen to someone like him. This could have been someone that was extremely devilish, very toxic, overindulged in everything. And here he is. Listen, this man here, <laughs> someone is going through healing. Dang. Someone is going through healing. They're literally, like, you know how we have occultists and then we have spirit, like the spiritualists that are in the light. And then we have what they call devil worshippers. Imagine the leader of a cult going from that to being this. Oh, oh, look, right there. This man is going from this to this. He's taking charge of his life. And he wants to partner up with you because you probably helped this person heal. You did something to them. You awaken this person. Mm. Yeah, you help this person heal. You help this person heal. You may even have someone supporting you from behind the scenes and you don't know it. I'm telling you, you help this person heal. They're no longer confused. He knows things. He sees things for exactly what they are. Like the two of pentacles has to make what has to do with making decisions. Sometimes you're going back and forth, juggling and things like that. He's not juggling anymore. He knows the truth and he's decided to remove himself from this family. This toxic family dynamic. Like this man is moving on. So maybe every all the other masculines are not who you're supposed to be with. Maybe you have a contract with this emperor. I mean, I don't know. It's too many people in here. And they all have their own stuff going on. It's just too many characters. But what I know for sure is that there is an emperor that's going through some type of healing. He's turning his back on some old, some old way of living. Like he's healing. He's letting go of toxicity. Some of them before they were like, I don't, I don't need to heal. Even though they knew they needed to heal. Someone was in denial or were just refusing to do the work. And they're like, I'm not, I'm not healing right now. I don't care about healing right now. But something happened to this person where they care about healing now. Like they're letting go. They are letting go. 
they're no longer indecisive. Can you imagine meeting like a, let's say someone that's in their 40s or 50s and they're very indecisive and let's say they're macho, all muscles and stuff and they don't know, like they're not, they don't make decisions and stick to them. They, they're always wish-washy going back and forth, going back and forth. One minute they're going to do something, the next minute they're not, the next minute they're going to do something. That is kind of like the mindset this person is coming out of. That's the mindset this person is coming out of. Like they're taking charge of their life. I'm telling you. And while he's doing that, there are people in here trying to stop him. Yeah, but he's still moving on. I'm telling you, this man is moving on. He's done. And if you're the feminine energy in here and people are trying to block you from moving on, you're still moving on too. You are still moving on. You're still healing. I'm telling you, this emperor is going through healing. He's healing. He may have experienced some type of betrayal, but he's healing and he's moving on. This is like the last person these people ever expected to go through healing, to want to do the work, to want to reconcile. So someone from your past could be wanting to heal with you and it's an emperor energy. It's an emperor energy. If you could have friends from your past that want to heal with you and spirit is saying no, but there's just one, yeah, I'm telling you. And then you have this, oh my gosh. This is landing over the Six of Cups. You two may have some type of union, like you'll end up getting married or something. But this man, if you'll see the difference between these two institutions, right? This is what he used to be a part of. This devilish cult, indulging in toxic situations and things like that, just low vibration and things that was not helping this man ascend in any way. And he was surrounded by a whole lot of people that never encouraged this man to heal, didn't care about healing. Healing. These are the types of people when you bring the word healing up, it's repulsive to them. It turns them off. It bothers them, right? He removed himself or he's removing himself. Now look at the difference between these two institutions, right? I'll tell you what uh, this is. It says, now let's see actually this in upright. It said temptation, vice, restrictions, materialistic, addiction, selfishness, pessimism, distrust, faithlessness, okay? The hierophant in the upright, traditional values, subjection, follow conventions and norms, inclination to work group identification. This in the reverse, removal of bondage, release, severance, overcome evil, defeat, detachment from unhealthy forces, tendency to be, a, a tendency to be tempt, tempted, and that's always in life. We'll always be tempted by something. But if you can see the difference between these two energies, you see how dark this is, right? And this man let go of that so he could end up here. Like he wants a genuine relationship. He could have been married to some toxic Jesse Bell and he didn't know it. And now he's about to be in something more traditional, which I think is what this emperor wants is to be in a more traditional relationship where there is loyalty and commitment. You don't have to worry about your partner stepping out on you. Someone actually cares about the relationship that they are in, something like that. I feel like in this union here, both of them were possibly out having experience with other people, not just the woman, but him too. That someone had a don't care attitude before this man. He has some type of don't care attitude, but now it's different. It's different. Like he cares now. And any plans this, this family has to block this man from moving forward, it's not happening. They're blocked. All of their plans are being blocked. Either they're planning on, hey, we can do this to block them. It's like, nope. All of those plans are being dismantled by the universe i'm telling you it's done he is done Phew. this is 99 now it has to do with with something being complete something something being finished you end a cycle 99 right 99 is 18 another nine he's done 
The death card is out here. This man is done. The devil is reversed. He's done. The six of swords, he's done. He's moving on. Someone is done. Absolutely done. This man has been betrayed a lot, and he didn't know that. He may have even been coming for you in the future, like in a really malicious way, only to find out that the people that he was working with against you were betraying him as well. It's like sleeping with the enemy. Sleeping with the enemy, but he's taking his commitment, his loyalty somewhere else, his abundance. He's taking it somewhere else. He's leaving. He has foresight of the situation. He knows who's the truth, who's actually smart. They may have told him that someone was dumb or something like that, but he knows the truth now. So he's moving on. Advocating for you possibly behind the scenes or just taking actions to... He's taking action to remove himself. I'm telling you. And they're trying to block him, but they can't. Is that every time he takes action, maybe this is why he goes back and forth in his mind a lot. Because every time he takes action, there's someone there to tell him that he's not thinking straight. That is crazy. And he may be playing this. Hmm, I'm not going to say that. Dang, it came out. Oh my gosh. Someone is moving on. I'm telling you, someone is moving on. And this is divine interference. This is how it was always orchestrated to be. Mm. There are too many karmic cards out here. Like, judgment. Dang. The death card. The, the justice card. Like, something is being balanced out balanced out and then we have six three a uh, nine i'm sorry we have nine out here again nine 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 dang and it still sums down to freaking nine someone is done Anyways, it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. That's what this person is doing. Like someone is standing their ground. I can't, I kid you not. He's done. He said, I'm done with this mess. He's standing his ground. There may be a court case going on and he has decided I'm done. I don't want to be part of this anymore. Like I'm removing myself. This is one of the situations where they're probably possibly even trying to blackmail this man, playing with his mind, telling him if you leave, you're going to lose everything. You're not going to be abundant in life. And he's like, I don't care. You can keep it all. Something like that. Like someone is done. Someone is done. This man don't care. And he's still going to come out abundant. Whatever he comes out with, he's going to be able to build a new life with. Someone is still going to be okay. Like even doing better than he was before in this family that's fighting. Someone could be telling him you're leaving your family out in the cold. What about your family? Something like that. He don't care. That man is done. When you are done with something and people are still holding on to it, they're still in that lifestyle, they don't understand it. They don't understand how it becomes repulsive to you. It becomes repulsive to you. Like you're disgusted by it because you've been awakened and people are trying to keep you in that. It feels to you like they're still trying to hold you hostage and it agitates your soul. It agitates your spirit. So every time someone opens their mouth to try to cause you some type of confusion. They're pissing you off. They don't know that they're pissing you off every time they come in your energy. I would know, honey, I've been through this. Like when you awaken to something, let's say you see someone and their mask has fallen off and they're still trying to pretend to be holier than thou or something, it pisses you off. They don't know that you know, right? Even sometimes they'll know that you know and they're still trying to keep this facade going. That's what's going on with this man. Like, he knows what's going on. He sees the truth. But they're still trying to manipulate him to stay in something. And it's pissing him off. 
Like he finds these people agitating and I don't think they realize that. He finds them to be very annoying. Annoying. He is annoyed. Literally, like I just got annoyed. This man is repulsed by these people. Literally, every time they open their mouths to talk to him, he's agitated. It's said, I wish you was. He's saying in his mind, I wish you would stop talking to me. I wish he would stop talking to me. When is when are you going away? Like, shut up. Someone is like done, done. Like, done. Well done, beyond well done. Like, if you went to a restaurant and it asked you how you wanted your meat, and you said done, well done, like beyond well done, and it came back out with a little bit of brightness on there, that's how done this man is. Like he's he's done. And he's not backing down. He's not questioning himself anymore. He's not nah, he's done. Like I can feel this person's energy. He's done. Done. Okay, another nine. And three, 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 three has to do with celebr yes, right here. Celebration, abundance. Bounty. What does this say here? Yeah, it said merriment. A merriment. Happiness, victory, celebration, support, sharing, friendship, social events, community, sincere allies. Unity is strength. This man wants genuine connections with people and he's taking the, going somewhere else to have that. He knows it's not with his family. And dang, this is a whole community he's leaving behind. He's leaving this community behind so he can have genuine connections with either his soulmate, new people, form new business alliances, and it's going to be prosperous, right? Something of high moral character because whatever he was in before was not that. So he's putting an end to all of that. Someone is literally maturing. They're maturing in life. Man, I could go on and on about what I'm getting on this person and the people around them or will be here forever. It said you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. Someone, dang, someone is, someone is awakening. Someone is awakening. They're waking up. They cannot go back to sleep. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.